In this video, we're going to learn how to package a shipping project using the project launcher. So typically, if you want to package a project, you would have to first modify some settings in the packaging settings over here. Then choose the platform you want to package your game for and then select package project. So I'm not going to go in depth on how this works since there are plenty of tutorials for this method of packaging already. But there is another way of packaging your projects and that is by using the project launcher. Alright, so that is this one over here, project launcher. And I'm also sure some of you watching might be facing a bug in Unreal Engine where if you package a shipping project for release through the previous method, that is by going through this setting over here and clicking package project, then the packaged game file will still have access to both the console and the logs and you don't want the players to have access to the console. So this is a known bug in Unreal Engine and even the moderators in Unreal forums are aware of this. So hopefully in the future this issue gets fixed. But for those of you who are still using an older version of Unreal Engine 5 and you don't want to update your project to a newer version, then your only solution at the moment is to package a shipping project through the project launcher. Again, that is this one over here. And I do want to mention something. I'm not going to explain every single settings in the project launcher because that would make this video a bit too long. So I'm going to add a link to the documentation for the project launcher in the comment section and in the description. So you can check it out on your own. But in this video, I'm only going to explain on all the settings that are relevant on packaging a shipping project for public release. So with that done, over here in the project launcher window, you can see there are two views over here. This view over here is known as the default launch profile. Alright? And this section over here is known as the custom launch profiles. This is the area where we are going to spend a lot of time. Alright, so this is the more important area. You don't really need to look at this area over here for the default launch profiles. The custom launch profiles over here is what makes the project launcher a lot more unique. Alright, so you can see I already have a custom launch profile over here. So I'm just going to delete this off. Alright, so by right clicking you can delete it off. And then add this by clicking on the add button over here. And then select create custom profile. And it will create this settings over here. So over here. You can actually change the name of your custom profile over here. So I'm just going to call this testing profile. And you can choose to give a description over here. And then over here, you have the build section over here. So it says, do you wish to build? So click on the detect automatically and select build. And then behind that, we have the build configuration. And again, over here, we're trying to package a shipping project. Alright, so make sure to select shipping over here. And then under the advanced settings, we don't need to modify any of the settings over here. So just leave it as it is. And in the cook section, alright, so you say how would you like to cook the content? Make sure to click on the drop down box over here and then select buy the book. And down below, we can see a bunch of options. So for the cooked platforms, make sure to drag down and select windows so over here i want to package my game file for the windows platform that is why i'm choosing windows and down below you have the option called cooked cultures i don't really know exactly what this does but basically this has to do more with localization so by default it's going to be choosing en over here so just leave the setting as it is and then scroll down and over here we have a setting called cooked maps. Alright, make sure to select all the maps that you want to use on your game file. Alright, so over here I only need the starter map. I don't need any of the remaining maps over here. You can see under the show cooked, it's going to show just the starter map. So when we start packaging our project, it's only going to package our starter map. If you want to select a bunch of maps. You can just select on the 
all option over here. So that's a quick way of selecting a bunch of maps. And then double check over here under the show cooked setting over here. And we don't really need to modify any of the settings over here under the release or DLC settings. Just leave it as it is. At least it's beyond the scope of this video. I don't really know how to modify any of these settings over here. I think if you're a big game studio, you would kind of use these settings. And in the advanced settings, we have an important setting. Down below under the cooker build configuration, make sure to select shipping. And leave the rest of the settings as it is. And then over here under the package, make sure to select package and store locally and then click on browse and we're going to choose a folder where we want to save our game file so over here i already have the unreal test folder over here i'm just going to create a new folder call this test folder and then i'm going to choose this folder to save my packaged game at so i'm going to select select folder and then leave the rest of these settings as it is and then ignore the archive settings over here we don't really have to archive anything and then under the deploy settings we need to click on the drop down box and select do not deploy all right so we don't want to deploy anything and we also really don't need to modify any of the settings in the launch section over here and that's it we are done with this so click on the back button and this is the part that confuses beginners when using the project launcher now when you want to package your game file you should not go over here and try packaging your project through this way all right we need to click on this icon over here all right so this is the button that you need to press to actually start packaging your game file all right so click on this and it's going to take some time so now you can see the packaging has been completed so you can see over here the build has been successful so now we can just close this and then open the file which contains our packaged game so now i'm going to open the test folder which contains our packaged game that we have just packaged so you can see the project launcher exe is over here so now if I were to open this up, you can see the game file is now working properly. And if I were to press the title key, nothing is happening. You see the console is not appearing. So this is suitable for a public release. And coming back to the folder over here, we can see that we don't have the logs for the project anymore. But yeah, our final game file is now working properly. And it is a lot more suitable for public release, especially now that the game file can't access the console anymore. So once again, this is how you use the project launcher to package a shipping game for public release. I hope this video was kind of useful. Once again, you can check the documentation for how this project launcher actually works in the links down below. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you later. Bye.